Hello everyone, welcome, thank you for joining us today. My name is Simone, I'm one of the Knowledge Hub Community Managers and I'm really delighted to be here today with Cha Khan from TIFO who is going to be talking to us today about TIFO's Green Print for Good, the sustainability strategy. But before we begin, I would like to call your attention to the right of your screen where you can see a chat box and a Q&A box. So if you have any questions, please send them in using one of these boxes and Sha will be answering them at the end of the presentation. And also, if you have any technical problems, any problems with the sound, please let me know and I'll try and help you. Now, without further ado, I'm going to hand over the controls to Sha so he can properly introduce himself and begin his presentation. So bear with me, Sha. I'm passing you the controls. And there Hi. you go. Hi there. Uh, this is Sha Khan, Group Technical and Ethical Manager, Typhu T Limited. Today, in the panel with me, I have Ken Mullen, our operations manager. Ken. Hello. Ken is our champion on waste management. And we have also Michael Jones, the key accounts manager from RAP. Michael. Hi there. Michael is helping us on packaging reduction and cultural commitment actions. Ken and Michael both will be pleased to answer your specific questions at the end of my presentation. Now let me explain first what is Typhus Green Print for Good. Typhus Green Print for Good is a comprehensive sustainability plan that supports trading responsibly. Now, show you the next slides, which has got sustainability plan and five pillars. Our environment, business integrity, quality and well-being, operational excellence, and our community. The environmental pillar is to minimize the impact of our products and operations on the environment. Business integrity is to source with integrity, trade fairly, and respect for everyone. Quality and well-being is to deliver quality products and protect the health, safety, and well-being of our employees. Operational excellence is to attain excellence in everything we do through better utilization of resources. And our community pillar is to support programs which make a positive difference for our community. We have commitment from the top. Our CEO, Keith Pecker, stated our business links many people together in our supply chain, from our growers to our manufacturing to our customers. We are wholly committed to improving the way we operate as a business, ensuring that we protect our environment and enhance the well-being of everyone involved. Our sustainability plan is aimed at supporting everyone including our employees, suppliers, customers, stakeholders, and local community. We are working closely with all to ensure that our growth is active, achieved in a sustainable and responsible manner. Our every step, however small, will make a positive input towards making a big difference for the livelihood of all now and for the future. Keith Pecker, CEO, September 2012. Before going into the environmental details, let me briefly highlight each of our sustainability pillars activities. 
This slide explains, firstly, quality and well-being. Our workforce is key to our success, and we ensure high product quality demanded by our customers. Taifu signed up to the Health at Work pledge with the Department of Health to improve employee well-being. The program includes promoting a healthier lifestyle, bike-to-work scheme, free employee health checks, occupational health advice, on-site flu vaccination program, healthier staff restaurants, stop smoking pledge and support, skin cancer screening support on-site. Now, the operational excellence Employee engagement is our key driver for operational excellence. Through our lean manufacturing program, we have eliminated many of the unnecessary cost burdens to our business to sustain healthy growth. Our productivity drive allowed us to achieve a 12% efficiency improvement last year alone. Typhoon's success in export with high-quality goods achieved a bronze award by the Food and Drink Federation in 2012. Now, our community. We work closely with our community. In 2009, Typhoon began its partnership with the English Federation of Disability Sport to make sports more accessible for disabled people across the UK and launched the Taifu Sports for All scheme. This scheme provides training to community sports coaches to enable them to help disabled people participate in sports and games the love. To date, the program has trained over 2,000 coaches. Typhoon's Sports for All was awarded a Food and Drink Federation Silver Award in 2010 for community partnership. Last year, we joined forces with the Great Foundation in sponsoring a breakfast club in a local primary school. This is already achieving positive outcome in increased attendance and child well-being. We continue to support local charities through various activities such as Red Nose Day, Marathon, Sports, Cancer Research, etc. Now, business integrity. Taifu is a corporate member of Ethical Trading Initiative since its inception. We also work closely with other organizations to trade fairly, such as Fair Trade, Fair Working Conditions, Rainforest Alliance, SEDEX, IUF, etc. Now, let us talk about our environmental achievements. We strive to minimize the impact that we have as a business on the environment. Some of our main achievements include zero waste to landfill in our Morton factory, 96% recycling of all waste plus only 4% waste to energy. Launching the Typhoon Eco Refill 40's tea bag pack, which has 92% less packaging weight, 90% less carbon dioxide fuel emissions by transporting landed tea by via Liverpool port. 2,000 wooden pallets saved from overseas, saving hundreds of trees. 1 million kilowatt electricity saving during 2010 and 11. 
Taifu was the winner of Widow Business Award 2012 for Environment. We are also finalist for Green Supplier of the Year at the Grocer Gold Award 2012. Zero Waste to Landfill Challenge. The next slide is our Zero Waste to Landfill Challenge. Our journey started here. In 2006, 88% of our waste went to landfill. We set our challenging target to achieve zero waste to landfill by 2012. First of all, to achieve that, we set our waste hierarchy. Remove reduce, reuse, recycle, and recover. So the strategy was to eliminate unnecessary packaging, to reduce all waste, to reuse materials where possible, to recycle, and to recover to energy as the last option so that nothing goes to the landfill. Our team here worked very hard and the process steps involved understanding the waste stream, allocating resource, engaging employees, innovative approach, and reviewing progress. For making a headway, we had to plan carefully communicate effectively, motivate all employees, apply innovative approach, and improve further and further. We had to go through many cycles of these with continuous improvements in this journey. The, the challenge was tough at times. Firstly, we had to trace and justify every single waste streams. We had to ensure cost-effective approach, engage focus team group in each area, resolve difficult streams for recycling, and monitor and fine-tune progress with continuous improvements. The entire process needed to be monitored carefully day in, day out for improvements. The challenge was to take innovative approach for recycling difficult waste such as safety shoes, tea waste, ink ribbons, carpets, etc. Finally, zero waste to landfill achieved. Here in this slide, the red bar represents landfill and the green for recycled. You will see that over the span of six years, 88% waste to landfill became zero. The green bar became 100%, which includes a small proportion of waste recycled to energy. Currently, 96% of our waste are directly recycled, and only 4% waste go to energy recovery, which is improving further. Now, let's talk about the 2,000 wooden pallets saved, saving hundreds of trees. We actually achieved these by introducing cardboard slip sheets. Traditionally, tea from overseas arrives on wooden pallets, 
which are then discarded. We looked at how to eliminate these pallets. Taifu worked with our overseas suppliers on this, and in 2010, we invested on offloading facilities of pallets on a thin cardboard slip sheet, allowing us to save 2,000 wooden pallets so far. We are aiming at 80% compliance by 2020. Introduction of slip sheets also allowed us to increase container loading capacity for incoming tea by 7% and thereby helping minimize CO2 emissions. Now, 92% less packaging in Taifu Eco Refill Pack. In November 2011, Taifu launched the first Eco Refill Pack. The product has 92% less packaging weight compared to the conventional Taifu 40s tea bags carton. In addition to this weight saving, the Eco Refill Pack will lead carbon efficiencies. Now, use of recycle board is the next slide. Taifu is the first major tea brand to use recycle board across its brand range. This has resulted in a saving of 348 tons of primary cardboard and 460 tons of CO2 emissions per annum compared to using new virgin board. Carbon footprint of one ton of virgin primary cardboard is about 1.32 CO2 equivalent. Now, packaging reduction initiatives with RAP. To complement Typhus packaging reduction measures, we signed up to the Cortol Commitment Phase 2 in August 2011. The Cortol Commitment managed by RAP is a responsibility deal aimed at improving resource efficiency and reducing the carbon and wider environmental impact of the grocery retail sector. Working with RAP, Taifu initiated a project to rationalize the packaging life cycle, starting from the packaging sourcing to the end of life. As part of Typhoon's ongoing activity to improve business impact on environment, we look to sign up to the Cortol Commitment Phase 3. Now, to conclude that Typhoon's Green Print for Good is delivering continuing success. We are committed to all actions that are good for the environment, make good business sense, good for economy, and good for trading responsibly. Thank you all for listening. Now the questions. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I do have a few questions that came in. So the first question that came right at the beginning is any advice for a business that is not as big as Taifu and cannot tackle so many areas at the same time? Yes, yeah, you have to take the approach in a phased manner, but you should have... I'm sorry, Sha, I'm sorry to interrupt. You are a bit too far from the phone. Could you please speak a bit close? Right. Thank you. Yep. Can you hear now? Yes, now it's better. Okay, so uh, mainly that you have to have a plan, a master plan, how you are achieving. And then you have to take a phased approach. And mainly you have to break down into the activities. And it's a part of the zigzag. So you can start one part of the actions and then fit into the other part of the actions. 
that is my advice. Thank you. Another question that came in is, uh, how did they achieve 90% reduction in land transport? Yes, this is going to be a separate uh, case studies presentation because uh, our tea normally come to a remote port which is in a flick stone. From there it used to be shunted by road to our factory in Liverpool. So we have diverted a direct import into the Liverpool port with a, a joint project with the Liverpool port facilities and that is achieving that. And we will post shortly a case study on that. Thank you. We'll be all waiting for the case study. And the other question is, um, it's a similar question. So it's how 92% less packaging weight for tea refill bags was achieved? Yeah, this is compared to our normal packaging, which is the 40s tea bags which included a carton and inside a foil. So we have eliminated the carton, which is 92% of the weight, and the foil is only 8%. Oh, I see. And the other question, I suppose, relates to this one, is how do the cardboard slip sheet work? The cardboard slip sheet is uh, loaded by the um, supplier of the tea in overseas in a state of using a wooden pallet. So what we needed that a special device to offload this carbon slip sheet because that it has got some uh, uh, pictures. I think on the picture you will see that uh, a loading uh, truck is waiting and then a slip sheet machine is there. If you want me, I can go back to the slide and show you that. This is, this is the slide I mean. So it's a 14 slide. And then it's taken onto a truck without the pallet and then goes into the factory. So these are the pallets. It's not from this supply. These are just an example that these were saved. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. And now there's a question for Rap. Uh, the Court of Commitment 3 looks at life cycle of products to reduce packaging. Do businesses interested in participating have to perform LCAs for the products? So, hi there. Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the court hold commitment is um, a responsibility d uh, uh, deal which is um, set up exclusively for the retail grocery sector. So court hold 2, which Typhu has signed up to, is one of 53 signatories in, made up of retailer and brands. The court hold commitment looks at three key areas, packaging waste, food waste prevention and supply chain waste. Okay, so they're the three areas um, that, that, that um, the court hold commitment uh, look at. Um, obviously, that is very much when you when we look when you look at those target areas, the life cycle um, element of, obviously is, is is of importance. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So um, I'm sorry if I understood correctly. So it is advisable that businesses do perform LCAs if they want to join the court of commitment. I suppose this is what the question was asking. Okay. Um, in terms of joining up the court of commitment, I think what the best suggestion I could I could give is, is actually contacting RAP, whether it be through through myself, and we can talk a little bit more more about court hold commitment and what, what it actually entails. Okay, thank you very much. And um, you can, for the members listening, you can find RAP contact details on the Knowledge Hub. We've got members from RAP, so if you do a search there, you'll be able to contact them. But thank you very much, Michael. And there's actually another question for RAP. Okay. So does RAP offer any benchmarking guidance for packaging? And then in between brackets, or other waste? Okay, so... Um 
but we do have a wealth of resources on our on our website in regard to packaging and looking at um, the, you know the carbon impact of materials. So what I would what I would suggest is um, um, for the exchange members to actually look at the uh, at the RAP website. We do have a wealth of information around uh, packaging um, and and its impact. Yes, thank you. And um, Sharp has just went go back to the. Um, to the slide with the address for the website, so if you're interested, you can go to the website. Now, the last question I've got here is, um, I suppose, to Shah. The best program may fail if staff is not engaged. How did you achieve this, not only at the start, but most importantly, continuously? Uh, say that again, I could miss, miss start. The, the line was breaking, yeah? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So it's a question about staff engagement. Yep. So the best program may fail if staff is not engaged. How did you achieve this, not only at the start, but most importantly, continuously? Yes, yeah. staff engagement is very important. The firstly is that you need to share the knowledge with the staff what it is for, what is the aims and objectives. Secondly, that you need to train the staff to how to do it and what is achievable and so on. And obviously in the first cycle or first few cycles, it is a learning process. That's why it takes about five, six years. So after you have got the bot in, all the management and the staff motivated, then the cycle runs very smoothly. Now, the second stage comes in the difficult bit is that to deal with the difficult uh, waste streams, which is not the uh, a part of the uh, engagement or not the part of the employees. It is mainly the management of the waste management to find out the resources where the difficult streams can be recycled. So that is something as can has done with his team to find out more and more recycle and so you could see that in our slide it is gradually reduced to zero waste to landfill all right thank you very much well this was the last question i had here but i would like to remind everyone that as soon as the recording is available, we're going to put it up on the hub as well as the presentation slides. So if there are any questions that you didn't ask now, you can always ask them then. And I'm sure Sha would be happy to answer any other questions that might come later. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today. Thank you, Sha, for the presentation. And thank you for the rest of your team and Michael Jones for answering the questions regarding to wrap. I hope everybody enjoyed the presentation and keep an eye on our calendar of events because we've got loads of things coming up. So thank you very much, everyone, and goodbye. Thank you from me and our team. Thank you. Unusual, isn't it? Because you feel like you're just presenting to, to nothing. Yeah. To nothing. It's, it's difficult, yeah.